Alright, let's get started, shall we? So, today, hopefully we'll get a bit more work done on this sphere. I've started working a fair bit off camera, so we now have some of the nodes completed. Unfortunately, we can only build on right at the equator right now, so hopefully today we can get the tech research that is going to give us 15 degrees on either side. Because that would be useful. But then we can get our... Uh, a football sphere underway. Basically what I have in mind is I'll have some hexagons at least on the equator. I'm not entirely sure what to do with the beyond that yet, but hopefully we'll get something cool in there. Yeah, we got that. I've been doing some research off camera, so we now got on the green science unlocked. I've already started producing a little bit of it. There's basically, beyond this line here, there's not much that I... Well, actually, there's nothing that I can research in here. And then on upgrades, we've already done a fair bit. I did the Universe Exploration 3, which allows me to see some of the resources in surrounding areas. And I have got... Oh, right, yeah, I've got Drive Engine 4 already queued up. So once we get that, we can actually go to some of the areas. If we have a look at them, actually... That's real quick, so, um, that's three light years away, and that has, okay, so it has fire eyes, fractal silicon, it has some hydrogen, deuterium, water, coal, so basically all the regular resources, unfortunately no oil, but fire eyes is pretty useful, and fractal silicon I suppose is quite useful as well. Then, hold on, what's this one? That's six light years away, and we can't actually see that far. Never mind. That's five light years away. Okay, so there's a crude oil, fire eyes, organic crystal, and optical rating crystal. So that would actually be a really good place to set up a shop in, quite frankly. But we'll see if we actually reach there today. Probably not. Although I do have some of the... Space Warpers uh, crafted, and they're actually, especially once you get the advanced recipe, so to speak, which uses some of the green science to do them, it's fairly cheap to make. I mean, sure enough, the green science itself isn't particularly cheap, but we got a fair bit in here as a buffer. I haven't put a chest for these, although I suppose I could. That would allow us to stockpile them a bit further, but yeah, we're not using them quite yet. Right now it's... oh, actually no. The yellow science is no longer the problem, okay. That's good, so the research is going as fast as it can, other than the fact that... Oh, actually the power production has improved a little bit now, good. I had a bit of a problem earlier today. I mean, the generation capacity from the sphere... I mean, this Dyson Swarm is, well... You can see that there's not much in here, so it might well be that there was a long period of time where we just couldn't shoot any in there, and then over here they are already kind of disappearing. Oh, I think they go like maybe two rounds right now. We are, um, well, the upgrades that we have. But I have managed to get at least some of the upgrades so that only about 51% of the solar rays is dissipated while going through the atmosphere, so that's at least a little bit better than what it used to be. I'll get another upgrade on that eventually. Right, then I've added in some more logistical stuff over there, and actually let's go and show this, because this is where we are launching our rockets to actually build up the sphere. Currently we're waiting for the uh, Deuteron uh, fuel rods. Which we are producing near the South Pole. Just not very quickly, unfortunately, but... You know what? Here's a question. Should I perhaps... Because I'm using a lot of the rods currently for... Electricity production right now, with some... Fusion power. Which does provide a lot of power. But at the same time... We can reproduce these. Or the quicker they go to where they need to be. Come on, I'm just gonna get rid of that one at least. I'll still keep one in there. But once this runs out, 
there's going to be more and more going through to the logistic hub there. And then it's being carried away. Also, some other... It's the plane filters are also made around there. Closer to the research area, to be fair, but it's just... There wasn't room in the... Well, actually, there might have been room in the interplanetary one, actually. Come to think of it, but... Yeah, anyway. We still have a little bit of uh, the... Super magnetic rings in here. I think those might be the next bottleneck. I mean, we'll have a bit of a problem with the deuterium in here. Although, actually, right, if we wanted to get a orbital collector, and that would be all oh, right. We need to have one of the energy exchanges first, and that is a bit expensive. Okay, so I think guess we'll just go with the usual way. I mean, I could. I suppose. Instead of using this many fractionators, because they take a lot of power, I could just replace them with one um, particle collider. It would take a lot of uh, alloys, though, and I don't think we have quite that many. Oh no, actually, we do have a fair bit in there. Interesting. I'm, I know the way to get a bit more of those in. My inventory. Right, is that emptying? Very slowly. Well, we'll let it be for now and we'll go get some alloys. All seems to be doing just fine. I mean, it's not really used all that much anyway. Right, here we got some alloys. Oh, I'll take a little bit. I'm start a few solar panels here just to alleviate some of the energy problems. Which honestly I have no idea if that's gonna help enough or not, probably not. But it might help. Right, so we got a couple processors. Let's have a look. So we needed to get this one. There we go, we can now produce one of them. It's going to take a lot more power, but at the same time, we should be able to increase the speed that we produce the deuterium, or at least have a steady input of it. Should help a long way. Right. What I think I can probably do over here is we can remove that. I'll remove that as well, and probably that. Okay, so now that and yes, it's in here. So this takes a massive amount of power, but it will take a steady input and has a steady output. But this stage is probably better than having multiple ones. I mean, the other ones probably are a bit more effective in terms of the electricity that they use to make the products, but at the same time, it's not a steady speed. Yeah, this does use a lot of power. It uses a lot of power, but at the same time, yeah, it produces a lot per minute compared to the others, so that should improve the situation quite a bit, which means even more rods are being made. Since so we're no longer transporting more of it there, uh, has the... No, the Dyson Shell's uh, power generation capacity hasn't really improved that much yet. There's still a lot that needs to be done there, but at least there's been some progress. How bad is this power situation? Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh boy, we're using 160 megawatts. We're producing about 110. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, have we been... Okay, so there's another one. Okay, so the speed that these rods are being transported over here is at least improving. Only three in storage. There's probably going to be... Once the fourth one hits there, the... Once the shuttle should be... Yeah, it's now being picked up by... Apparently from the other side. Uh, how much do we have? We could probably take a bit of metal here, or iron rather. For the inventory. 
Yeah, we've got crude oil here. I have forgotten that. Okay, so yeah, definitely the speed that is all this is being produced with has certainly improved the production values there. Right, but over here. Oh, we need to upgrade that, don't we? So it can keep on producing at full speed. At some point I might want to upgrade the output as well, but right now it takes a long time to unload all of that, but at the same time it does it with decent speed, or it does it quickly enough. Over here we're waiting for more deuterium. Okay, yeah, there's still a bit of a shortage here. It has improved. On the other hand, so what is the problem with those? I know that they are produced down here. Go through all of this. Okay, so are you having a problem? Oh, you don't have the engines, and the engines are having a problem because not enough of these engines. So if we were to upgrade this one, that would actually speed up things a little bit and keep things compact. I'm assuming that is actually outputting the stuff here. Or is it outputting stuff somewhere else? No, no, it is going here. Okay, well that is improving the speed, which means that more of that is being produced. And actually, a lot of it is going for these. Oh, right, yeah. I don't think we need quite this many. I'll just lower it down to 10. Although that is used for many things, but that is probably more than enough for a buffer. So we can start getting more of these again, and then we can get the stuff exported through there. So we can keep more of the rods coming, so we can get more of the components. Hey! A bunch of witness a launch here. Takes a little while, but it can do it like it takes 12 seconds for the launch cycle. There we go. And then we have another one. Oh, right, yeah, we got the four fuel rods earlier. How many have we... We already used 426 rockets. And we need, yeah, another... There's 774, more or less, to actually do what we have currently planned. At least there's... Oh, there's no product... Oh, oh, look at that. What, seven? Yeah, it's seven, okay. So with the one extra that we had here, that's going to be four rockets. Neat. How much are we producing? Almost 40 megawatts uh, from the shell itself, which is uh, still quite bare bones. So we can kind of uh, determine that... Uh, first of all, we only have just like the node and some of the structural elements here. I reckon that the solar panel sections are going to be producing even more power along the way. But before we get the... Oh, that we need to run everything. It's going to take some time. There we go. 40 megawatts. Another one approaching. We can see there's still a lot of these that have not been completed. That is 23 out of 60. And we just launched another rocket. Excellent. Oh, right. Yeah, it, it certainly has improved a lot now. Actually starting to have a bit of... Well, it's not really a problem yet. Though it may be. Um, the fact that we don't have a lot of these uh, plane filters in here. Although, we have a lot in our inventory. We can probably utilize some of that. Keep, keep producing a bit more. Also, there's a little bit from here that is being sent down for science production. 
Right, over here, these are actually not producing anything right now because there's not enough processors being used. We can probably help, help with that, I suppose. Uh, so we'll take a few of those. This is, okay, that is pretty much full. It means that not as much over here is being used, which means that a lot more of this is available. Uh, the nanotubes. Okay, we do have at least a little bit of rods, or fuel rods, and the filters moving in. I'm not entirely sure how much in actuality there is coming in, but at least four. Okay, so it's seven. And possibly seven? No, six, okay. Well, that's another three rockets at least. Speaking of which, do we still have... Oh, yeah, we do have... Oh, and there's another one going in. Excellent. So how quickly are we going to get this research done? Estimated... Okay, it's going to take some time. Although, the more and more we get power, the quicker it should be going. Although, oh, wow, that is quite a massive drop in power generation right now. The consumption demand is quite massive. Now that's probably partially our fault. Uh, let's actually have a look. So the, not the particle collider, it's the fractionator. So that uses 720 kilowatts. Whereas the particle collider uses 12 megawatts. Hmm. If we have a look. It's 1 to 1 or 10 to 5, so it halves the amount of hydrogen, but at least you get a guaranteed 5. Okay, so we might want to get another one of those uh, particle gliders. We don't actually have the supermagnetic rings. Um, could make a little bit. Speaking of which, is the production over here improved even the slightest? Well, there's actually a fair bit of these going in, so yes. Oh, right, yeah, this is now... Well, it has the buffer there, okay. And over here we are producing at least. Not very quickly, mind you. For now, then it needs to wait. Oh, it doesn't need to wait for long, at least. That's good. This one's... Producing, okay, it's about 20 per minute. Assuming that these can actually produce, it should be. So 20 per minute of those should translate to about 10 per minute of these. It's not a terrible rate. It's certainly not good. I mean, at some point I really need to start reorganizing all the production. I've already started laying down some groundwork over here for a bit more organized factory, especially once I get the iron from there away. I can reorganize a lot of this and maybe make it a bit more compact. Right, so we are sending out at least some of the magnetic rings. Have we got on another... Oh, yes, we do actually have another rocket going off. Here we're just waiting for more rods. There we go. Uh, how much are we actually... So now we have 442 total. How much do we produce energy? 41.2 megawatts. I mean, yeah, basically each one that we send in there is going to increase the power production a tiny bit. It's like... I think it's like 0.09-ish. It's a bit more than that, but about that much from megawatts. So it's like uh, 90 kilowatts, 90 something. Not entirely sure what the exact number is, and that's probably dependent on a lot of things, quite frankly. 
Okay, so we are at least increasing the amount of solar sails as well. That's going to give us the extra power that we need to run everything. Of course, producing the solar cells does take a fair bit of uh, power as well. Okay, so we still got more processes in here. I'm actually going to take a tiny bit of that. Now, for the particle lighter, we still need... Ooh, great material. Oh, we can probably take a little bit of those then. And then we just need the super magnetic rings. Which we probably need... Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I see. Probably going to need some... Uh, graphite. And luckily, I know where to find some. Right, would that be easier? No, not yet. But maybe it's not that. I think it's these. For that, we need... Oh. Because we're going to get 30 of the... Oh, right, yeah, okay. We do need... Probably more iron and more copper, and then we could technically do those. Now, the question is, is there any more iron available here? There's a ton of it over there, and okay, these are now having a decent chunk. Now, would that be any closer to getting the stuff done? That would be still 33, so we need more copper. Plus, we'll probably need some more just magnets. Okay, let's have a look. Is that any better? No. So it must be the magnets then. Okay, now I could get 20 of these at least. I'll start producing 10. Get started. It's gonna take a while. I mean, I do have a manufacturer of them in here, just not, not quick enough. And apparently we're not... Oh! Hello. It's a rocket going off. Oh, right. They go around the planet, don't they? And that's logistics. Oh, we can actually... can see the... Hell over here already a little bit. It's far from complete, of course. Fractions here and there. Right, how far away are we from getting the tech started at least? It's gonna say 2,000 of each. Now, the biggest problem is probably gonna be the green size, quite frankly. And we've got some production of that already, so we'll be able to go through it slowly. Uh, we've got enough information matrices already waiting, I reckon. At least we used to have. I'm not entirely sure if that's still the case, I suppose. Let's go ahead and check. Let's quickly go down here. So, I still got about 2,000. But that shouldn't really be a problem for that. And even for the green science, we at least got a bit of a, bit of a buffer here. And we do produce up to... Actually, I'm not entirely sure how much we produce per... Ah, it takes 24 seconds, so it's about a 5 minute each, so that's going to be 15 per minute. That's going to take some time. I suppose I could get another one of the matrices. I could double click, that would be nice. I fell with that. Oh, failed. Double clicking five times. Okay, we should have some rods incoming. There we go. There's two. I expected a bit more, to be fair. So, generation capacity is still under 100 right now. Consumption demand is quite massive. Right, well, I've got the Matrix Lab. I'm just going to go and place that in here. 